for the inference part, what you want to do is yeah, you need to train all the pulls and so uh, and then you need to make predictions on the test data set. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably just copy some of the stuff from here. So what do we have? I don't need this one. I need model. Yeah, I don't need training data. No. Dispatcher. I don't know where is this model comes from, so I'll just going to delete that. That's probably wrong. Uh, and what else do I have? Okay, so I got this now. Okay, I need this one. And I also need this data. Okay. Um, now the problem with this data is you have some new IDs in the test set that are not in the train set. So we need to make some changes to our model. So I'm just gonna add a DF test there. And that's your test data. And these are the IDs in the test data set obviously and the um, test data so I'm just gonna say this is your test data and now what we want to change is only a very simple thing so we are just going to extend this to support test data so now all the IDs are in test set 2 so what I'm going to do now is go to predict. Okay, you have the DF, which is in this case test data. You don't need this, there's this, all this doesn't exist. Okay. I'm probably missing something. So I'm going to make one more pump. Say I'm gonna dump the train if the columns model underscore columns. So I got that, and here I don't need all this anymore. Okay, label and colors. So label and colors will be all the load. Just sending the author models and the name of our job lib file was this one. And I have job lib. That's good enough. I need the model itself. Okay, so I have to label so the encoder is basically going to be the same for all. I'm the same uh, saving five copies, you don't need to save five copies. So, what I'm going to do is 
I have five folds, so I'm going to fold. same for all of those but it's just a check that you can you'll probably end up using this in some other complicated problems see so you have this one and then this one get the level and color uh, now move it here colors I will change the label and color code a little bit more. So this is going to be sort of this going to be dictionary. And that has column in the scheme and then the cover. And we got share now. And then you here we need encoders. It, we have to just need to transform it and it's our data frame. Say okay, we don't need this at all. So we do the map model, we make the predictions, and that should work. Okay, so for running it, you need to change things a little bit. So, what I do is I just run it five times. This is my model. Let's say okay, this is for zero. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I have a test data one. It. Um, let's try to run it now. Sure. Work. Ah, it's working. Okay, by the time it trains, let's enhance the function a little bit. Make uh, a operate function. stuff around so let's see so it was like this and I just did this so I added predictions to none for zero then predictions to press else uh, predictions close I can just do this plus it goes first. So you have that, and your finally your predictions are predictions divided by 5 because it's a number fold. And then you can 
because we can also get test index. Let's say we got the test index. Oh, one thing I forgot. Here my data frame is McDonald's. Okay. And let's see the sample submission file what we have here. The sample submission. We have ID and target. Okay, so we'll do this. unseen labels and mm, that shouldn't happen okay so this problem occurs because my data frame is changing so I will take this one from her and I need to read it in every call go back can hide them of the function only happening now okay no, the test index so okay okay let me just read it here and here about places this is not a good practice but yeah sure because the data set is small I can read as many times as I want so uh, to the training I can show you the code so this was the problem. I was changing data frame. So it was having new values all the time. But we don't want to do that, so I'm just reading it again. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. Um, I think it's almost done. Oh no. In the end. Okay. It's a small problem. I just need to do port numpy as numpy. I should be good to go. Let's run it again. Ah, and it's done. So, let's see. 
but you have any submission files no submission files oh yeah here it is ah, I got the submission file here with ID and target columns so I'll just go back mm, let's try to submit Probably gonna get some low score, but let's see. Oh no! Uh, so you can see I have some issues. <laughs> uh, to convert ID column. Okay. So what I'm going to do? Is I'm just going to do some kind of small hack. I'm just going to change it here. Uh, so my assumption file is and my CV score if I can remember each and every fold it was also in the same range so it's quite good I would say so the main idea behind doing all this is like now you have all the folds saved here so you can do out of folds you can do uh, stacking on something on top of it you can do different kinds of blending so everything is saved and um, also the training file and prediction file are quite compact you don't need to care about the model in the training file you can just build your model in dispatcher or something else um, so I think uh, I'll be ending the video today here at this point and all this code that we have done today will be available on my github in this link here um, for the next video and for the next parts so today i kept everything quite basic for the next parts uh tell me what you want to learn and i'll make it happen i was thinking more of digging into categorical variables and different ways of handling categorical data but we can do whatever you want and just let me know in the comments or uh, reach me out on twitter or linkedin and uh thank you very much see you